Candy and the Gang. Candy and the Gang. Y'all like the song? It's a cute little song. Um, so Candy and the Gang. How did it start off, y'all? Um. Hmm. Anyway, um, Patrick ends up telling Torin that now he. Oh, I know how it started. Okay, so it started with Brandon, Torin, and Patrick. And they all sitting around having drinks, talking or whatever. Um, now, the end of this episode, everything hit the fan. The shit hit the fan. But I did not. Y'all tell me in the comment section. Did, did Patrick in that moment, did he tell Torn to tell Shandrika that she's not invited? Or no? Because if so, then I'm, I'm wrong. Then Shandrika probably shouldn't have showed up. But if he did not tell Shandrika that she wasn't invited, because he invited everybody. So, but I pers I wouldn't have came anyway, but that's just me. Knowing the situation between Shandrika and Patch, I wouldn't have came. I wouldn't have came. But, but, you know, at the end of the day, they all work together. Yes, they broke up, but it, it seems like uh, Patrick and Shandrika's relationship is not on bad terms, you know, their friendship or whatever. So it's just like, it is what it is, you know? And Patrick still very much so speaks to Shandrika when Safari's not around. Absolutely. So I didn't think it would be tension. I don't know. But if Torin, if, if he told you, if he gave you that responsibility, that unfortunate responsibility that he could have did his own damn self, if he gave you that responsibility... To tell um, Shandrika that she wasn't invited. Then you was kind of wrong, in a sense, for not telling her. Anyway. um, So, you know, they're talking and stuff. And then Brandon, that's when he reveals. Talking about, um, you know, the whole situation with him and Dominique. You know, he got caught um, by, you know, Don Juan and all them. You know, and um, Candy and Todd. That, you know, they were smooching behind the jasmine rice and stuff. When they were supposed to be going in there get some cornmeal, they was doing what they was doing behind the jasmine rice. So, you know, that's when he said, oh, we got to kind of chill out and, and all that kind of stuff. So, oh, the next episode is going to be good because Don Juan told both of them. He was like, look, it's either going to be which one of y'all leaving? Which one is it? So it's going to be a mess. We already know how Brandon feels. Brandon said, oh, that hoe can go. We already know how Brandon feels. So, you know, Dominique, um, we're going to see how you feel. But I think Dominique, she's going to go. I think because she's going to volunteer to go. Because she know Brandon ain't going to well, girl. You know, in a way, God works in mysterious ways. In a way, um, if, if you end up leaving Dominique, Brandon is showing you who he is. And if you go back and watch the show, you're going to see certain things that he's done and said so you know god is trying to tell you something he's protecting you should gabriel and you know now you see that this ain't the deal for you now you see that hopefully anyway did y'all watch uh speak on it with um dom unique and dom one it was cute um so let's see now what else happened so you know i guess they're trying to Put a new dessert on the menu for the OLGs. And so they call all the OLGs together um, to, you know, they end up making the dessert and they're going to put that on the menu. So Mama Joyce, she and the judges are going to be Patrick, Candy, Todd, Melvin. And then, you know, we got Mama Joyce, Aunt Bertha, Aunt Nora. Um, and so they uh, come over and stuff and... Mama Joy, she bought, I think, angel food cake, pineapple angel food cake or whatever. Um, on Bertha brought a pound cake. Um, and then Patrick, he, not Patrick, um, Aunt Nora, she brought a pound cake too, but I think she put, um, whipped cream and strawberries or something on top. I don't know. I forgot what Anora brought. Y'all tell me in the comment section what Anora brought. But anyway, so they was doing the judging thing. And basically, who ended up winning was um, Mama Joyce. 
with her angel food cake situation. It was funny um, because in their confessionals, you know, the OLGs, they got a confessionals together, all three of them. In their confessionals, they were saying, um, Aunt Nora, she was like, uh, you know, uh, Bertha Grandsons was there. And so this, that's why they picked her up. But Bertha burnt her cake at the bottom. I screamed. I screamed. I'm not really a fan of pound cake. I don't like plain anything. Um, and and so that's why I don't like pound cake. Not that it's not good. I just don't like pound cake. It's just, and sometimes it's dry. So give me, give me some drizzle, something. Give me some whipped cream. Give me some ice and give... Give me some hell syrup. Give me honey, something. Give me something on it, you know. But um, I mainly, if I eat pound cake, I have to eat it with vanilla ice cream just to give it something because otherwise just plain pound cake, no. Uh, but that's just me. So let's see, what else is going on? Torin, Shandrika, and Brian. It's always great to see Brian. Um, they went to the wigs, though. Get some wig pieces. You know, Brian uh, wears wigs and stuff. And so does Shandrika. And Torm was, you know, trying on wigs. And it was a whole moment. Um, So, you know, they was trying on hair and stuff. Um, Brian, he was impersonating Aunt Nora and Aunt Bertha. It was funny. Um, so then they got on the whole thing of, are you going to bring... Patrick's housewarming that he wasn't going to have, but now he's going to have. And she was just like, child, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, we ended up seeing um, Dominique and Brandon, they got together. They decided to go to the housewarming, but they said that they were not going to go to the housewarming um, without, you know, the the crew, Shandrika and her fiance. And so, you know, they all meet up for drinks or whatever before they decide to go. So Patrick Dem is having everybody over, you know, uh, Safari's there. Uh, pretty girl, but they say she's kind of quiet and, you know, she's not the friendliest person in the world. Um, but anyway, he has a housewarming. There's no furniture. I guess maybe he was expecting furniture as a housewarming gift. I don't understand. And then he invited all the OLGs. You have older people there and there's no furniture. Even me being 31 years old, I'm not coming if there's no furniture. There's, when it comes to certain parties and stuff, I'm not coming if there's no furniture. I'm not coming if there's no food. It's just liquor or beer or whatever. I'm just. It's just certain things. It's just like, what are you doing? He was just like he just really wanted a um a chill vibe. He was hoping this was gonna be a stand up housewarming. A what? I I I don't know. I I don't understand it. If you'd have had the money for furniture, cool, Patrick. That's fine. But just not have the damn party. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get. He's, you know. But he based his thoughts now on what Safari thinks, and so you know, it was just like child. It was just like, well, whose vibe is this? Who thought of this and all this kind of stuff? And what's this? And she was just like, it's me and my vibe. But they don't really know me. And I definitely see eventually somebody's gonna cut Safari out in the family. Absolutely, absolutely. And so it'd be interesting to see Patrick's reaction. Um, to that, uh, Brian got up there singing Amazing Grace and stuff. And Pat, uh, Brian has a beautiful voice. But what is what is happening? What is happening at this housewarming? It was just, I don't know. I don't know. It was it was it was, it was interesting. It wasn't it? Didn't look fun. It didn't look fun. Um, let me see what else happened. So, um, Dominique and Patrick ended. Up, Dominique and Brandon. Ended up coming in and um, they was like, yo, we got somebody downstairs talking about Shundrick and her fiance. And so then um, Safari, so she's feeling some kind of way. She was like, what? What you mean? Like, why is they here? Whatever. So Patrick, he was just like, well, I'm just going to go outside. Safari so was like, well, I'm coming too. And then Torrin was like, well, I'm coming too. And so... They all three ended up going down the steps. 
And um, Ricardo, which is another cast member, he was just like, uh, Dominique, I really think you should go down there because that was your company. Y'all came together. How are you going to leave your girl outside? And which I agreed with him. That's what I would have did. If I could get into a club and my peoples can't get into a club, then I'm not getting into the club. Period. I don't care. We can go back to somebody's house and have fun. Have probably more fun. Safe fun. Hey, we can go to the Wild House and chill out. I don't care. But I, I wouldn't do my peoples like that. So they end up coming down, you know, Safari with the Mima, not saying nothing. And it was just like, you know, it's just kind of a private thing. You know, y'all not really invited. It was like, okay, that's fine. Let's go. It was just weird and awkward and it didn't have to be that. Like I said, Torin, if it was your responsibility... To tell Chantry because she wasn't invited, you wrong for not telling her. When, especially when you had plenty of time to tell her. But Patrick, you also weak sauce that you couldn't tell her your damn self. Um, and Safari, I don't know. Pretty girl, like I said, but that's about it. Pretty girl. Um, and she has her own business, and I'm, I'm you know. I congratulate anybody, especially this sister, out there doing her thing. But she's just not likable. She's not likable. But um. anyway, next week, child, we're going to see Dominique going to get mad at Ricardo. I guess because he called her out in front of people. And, of course, instead of admitting your fault, your flaw, if, sometimes it's easier to come at a person that you already don't like or don't know than it is to come at a person you're close to. So I think just judging by the scenes, that's what's going to happen next week. But we're going to see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Ricardo did something else. But if we're still talking about this whole situation, where Dom Unique left her homegirl outside, then I'm on Ricardo's side. Because Dom, you should have walked your ass out there and said, look, you know, you're not invited, but let's just go hang out or go do something or we can just call it a night and go home. But, you know, like I said, I wouldn't have left my people out there. Who is Patrick? I like Patrick. He's cool. But who is Patrick? With this said, I'm Mr. Chilaki. Mr. Chilaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Excuse on Instagram and Twitter. At Excuse We're 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chilaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me, run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.